We're starting section 3.7, the chain rule. First, um, we talk about uh, the composition of functions, and then we uh, give you the chain rule. What is chain rule? Chain rule is just the rule, the derivative rule that uh, helps us take the derivative of, of composition of functions. And in and this is where you're uh, prepared for doing your derivative exams, basically. Um, example one, um, let's, uh, there's this story, Albert is trying to be, is being rescued on top of the mountains and a chopper is out there and trying to figure out what time uh, they should come down uh, to basically drop the ladder and get Albert. Um, Albert is running fast because there are wild animals down here in the island where the mountain is, and he's going straight up. Uh, what he does is as he uh, basically, uh, as he climbs the mountain, uh, he also travels horizontally on uh, some and then travels some vertically. And x is the horizontal distance that he travels, and h is the vertical distance with respect to uh, the horizontal distance that he is traveling. Basically, it uh, tells you about the uh, slope of the mountain uh, a little bit. Um, and so he is, a bit true, he knows the uh, his speed of climbing and he knows where he is but he can't communicate with the pilot. Pilot looks down and he uh, he sees basically he's a flat earther. He sees just uh, above perspective of the entire story. So he only sees how fast Albert is traveling horizontally but he's just interested in knowing how fast Albert is is traveling vertically uh, uh, because he's interested in, do you see the dashed line? He's interested in time that Albert gets to that dashed line where where he actually should go down and drop the ladder because it's safe for the chopper to come down uh, and, and uh, actually get Albert at that level. Otherwise, it's the mountain that's dangerous for the chopper. So that's the basic of the story. And so Albert is running and um, and chopper is, is looking. Chopper knows how fast he's, uh, the pilot knows that how fast he's uh, running horizontally, but uh, he also knows the slope of the mountains and um, of this mountain and that helps him figure out how fast Albert is running up basically and and so this the this story now I, we want to talk about an eye clicker question uh, from this story. Let's review composition of functions. Uh, if f and g are functions, their composition f of g and g of f are f of g of x is f of g of x as, as is read. So it's f f of g of x is f of g of x, that's the input of f. g of x will be the input of f. And g of f of x is going to be g of input f of x. And so now let's do one example to remember how it works. Uh, let's have f of u equal to square root of u and g of x to be uh, 1 over x minus 3. Um, f of g of x is going to be uh, basically what is the outside function f what is the inside function g so what I do is I write the outside function and put a big parenthesis for the inside function uh, for the uh, the input variable then I plug in the inside function Everywhere I see the parentheses for input variable. 
How about now? Uh, and that would be square root of 1 over x minus 3. Sorry. And uh, how about now uh, about, uh, how about g of f of u? Now, outside function is 1 over big parentheses instead of the input variable minus 3. 1 over x minus 3 becomes 1 over big parentheses minus 3. Now plug in the inside function, which is f in here, square root of u, and you get 1 over square root of u minus 3. So then again, composition and is basically you um, you think about the, what's inside and what is outside and when you're calculating you basically figuring out the inside first and then you're plugging it in into the outside and in in um, this section we are going to talk about the innermost and then the next level the next level and the next level because composition of function can happen in many layers basically it could be function can be composition of two three four functions or more uh, so when we're talking about the in uh, inner function something that in this case is you start from innermost function that's the uh, the one that would be the, actually that would take the uh, input variable basically and the input variable, for example, in here takes the x, g takes the x, and then f takes the g, output of g, basically. Um, and so, now, uh, looking at, uh, for example, this examples, uh, over here, the innermost is h, and h, uh, basically, h is the one that acts on x, then g is the one that acts over uh, the output of h, and f is the one that acts on output of g. And then f of g of h of h, h uh, f of g of h of k of x is f of g of h of k of x basically and so again k is the one that takes uh, x in as input and gives the the output of k is going to be